time for game time. Emily Deem is at our game of the week. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. We're out here at West Pier this morning. You know, we're going to hear from the band coming up. But I have a few members that are a part of the band that are also a part of the football team. We have Jason, Matt, and John here with me this morning. Um, Jason, you were kind of telling me the process of how you can be on the football team as well as the band on game day. How does that work? Well, what we have to do is we have to strip off our pads at halftime, go sprint to go get our instruments, sprint to go get ready, and then play. After which we go sprint, get our pants back on, and then warm up. A lot of sprinting, I'm sure it is. Um, Matt, how exciting is the game going to be tonight? Both teams coming in undefeated. You're a sophomore. What is this like for you? Well, it's pretty exciting because first year playing for West Pier in high school, and um, I just I love playing for them, and I feel like this is going to be a good game for us. Yeah, I know you guys have your jerseys on. Are you a little chilly this morning out here? Oh yeah, just a tad. But what about game night? Game night, I'm sure, is probably chilly, too, but you don't even think about it, right? It's going to be really cold, but it's going to be heated again. Ooh, I like that. Jason, you got to show us really quick. Jason plays a tuba. How do you get down during game night? That's, that's how he dances, Rachel and Pete. I, I think love that's it. pretty good. Really good. I love, I love it, too, but we better be careful. We don't want you to get hurt. You got a big game tonight. You guys, awesome job. Really quick, though, Doug Ritchie actually caught up with the Phantoms head coach to talk about tonight's matchup. Take a look. Here we are with Bill Turnquist, West Pier football coach. His team hosts in Seymour in a big Bay game tonight, our game time game of the week. Bill, two 6 0 teams coming down. I, I know there's one more game after this week, but do you kind of look at this as a, not necessarily winner take all, but vitally important to win as far as the Bay Conference? I think for both teams it is. It's, uh, it's not the situation, you know, we still have a, a game after that, and Seymour does also. But I think the team that wins is probably in a the best position, driver's seat, so to speak. Your kids are used to playing big games from the last few years. Do you, do you think that's an advantage for you that you've seen these big games before? I think our squads from West to Pier over the years have prepared well in, in big situations like this, and they've performed well. How pleased are you with the way that the team has played after losing some key seniors from last year? I'm very happy with them. They've practiced hard, they've prepared hard, um, they've had kind of a, a target on their back all, all season, and uh, they've performed well. Well, it definitely is going to be a heated matchup, but right now we have the band performing for you, so why don't you get excited for Friday Night Lights? Live from West of Pier, site of Game Time's Game of the Week this evening. Don't forget to flip the channel over to CW14 to watch High School Game Time tonight. Showcase our Game of the Week. Uh, also, Seymour against West of Pier. Plus, we'll have the Band of the Week, Fans of the Week, Top 5 Plays, and more. That's tonight at 10 on CW14. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back. 